What's going on guys? You want to create some cool socks like this? Keep on watching. I'm a young Spanish nigga from the projects. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, who gonna stop it? What's going on everyone? It's me Melvin and I'm back again with another video. On this channel, we talk about make money online, print on demand, how to tutorials, and reviews. If this is content you like, do me a quick solid. Smash that like button. Destroy that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. And without further ado, let's get straight into the content. Right off the bat guys, if you guys do not have a Shopify store, go ahead, get started. 14 day free trial. Okay guys, so once you guys get all signed up with Shopify, you're gonna wanna go over to apps, okay? Once you're on your dashboard, just click on apps. And when you go over to apps, you're gonna be brought on this screen, right? So you may not have any apps. You're gonna wanna hit this button that says customize your store. After you click that button, guys, you're gonna be brought up to a screen that looks like this, okay? And right here where it says search apps, what you're gonna wanna do is just type in Printful. Now check this out. Before, you can always see Printful, right? Like on this front page when you type in Printful. So you may not see Printful right off the bat. But if you typed in Printful, just go ahead and click on it, right? And you see right here, it says print on demand, printful. Then it has like a symbol right there. That's the one you want. That's the printful we want, all right? So once you click that, you're gonna be brought up with this screen, right? And you may not have it installed, so you're gonna have this button that says install app. So once you install that app, guys, you guys are golden. Then you guys will have your printful print on demand app right here under installed apps, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is click on that app. So after you click on that app, and if you're not signed up with Printful, then guys, get all signed up with Printful, okay? So that way you can be able to add some products. I'm gonna assume you guys have Printful installed, and you're all ready to go. You're gonna wanna sit here and add a product, okay? So I already tested this process out, so I wanna show you guys how to do it, okay? So what you guys are gonna wanna do is go over here to accessories. Just click on accessories go down to where you see socks okay when you see socks just right here where it says blackfoot sublimated socks that's the one you want to click on okay so we're going to click on that and then we're going to go right here where it says product info pricing and guidelines so once you click that guys you want to go where it says print file templates and you're going to want to download this template okay and after you download that template guys now we could move on to step number two which is let's design this stuff for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Adobe Illustrator, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is click open, okay? And if you downloaded the print file template, then you guys are gonna be all good to go, okay? So right here under downloads, I'm gonna click on socks, and you're gonna wanna click on the basic template, okay? And we're gonna use this all over sock basic template PSD. So we're gonna click on that, and we're just gonna hit open. So you're gonna be brought up to this screen right here, right? So Photoshop import options, just click on that show preview. Okay, it's gonna be uh, convert layers to objects and just hit okay. So now you're gonna be brought up to this screen, okay? So right here guys, to the right, you're gonna have your layers, you're gonna have your properties, things like that, okay? Let's leave it on this page. Now, let's bring in our design, right? So uh, if you wanna actually put some faces, and if you guys are wondering how I got that guys, you know what I'm saying, converted to a cartoon, literally just go over to Fiverr, okay? You could type in something like cartoon head in the search bar, put in your budget, okay? So I just put $5, hit apply, and you're gonna be brought up with a bunch of designers, okay? You could just shoot them a picture of yourself or one of your customers, okay? And just say you want it transported into a cartoon, PNG, transparent background, okay? So once they deliver you the file, it's gonna look something like that, all right, guys? So, let's say you guys already got your uh, your image converted to a cartoon, you're ready to go, right? So this is what I did, guys. I'm just gonna drag that in here, okay? Now, that image may come in as extremely large, right? So what you're gonna wanna do, guys, is size it down. So you wanna bring it all the way down to the corner and size it all the way down, okay? You guys can size it all the way down to like a 1.4, okay? So this is pretty much how it will look as a 1.4, okay? So after you do that, guys, you see how I'm actually placing it in the center, in the middle of these red dotted lines here? And as I place it here, you can see there's an intersect line, right? That shows like split in half. You're gonna wanna do that. So just leave it there, okay, guys? And then now what we could do is bring in our other design, right? So 
I'm going to bring in a star. And you're going to want to do the same thing, okay, guys? Size it all the way down. All right, as you can see, I actually placed it right next to the face here, okay, and it intersects. Now, I'm just going to click on this face, and I'm actually going to hit Command-C to copy and Command-V, okay? And as you can see, it brought up, brought down another image. So I'm just going to bring it down right under the star, okay? Then I'm just going to hit Command-V again, and I'm going to want to sit here and place that right there and Command-V again just so I can have four of these faces, okay? Now, as you can see, maybe I can bring in the, up this face here and bring up this one like so. Maybe just a little more, okay? Just like that, okay, guys? So as you can see, I have four faces, one star, so I'm gonna wanna sit here, copy this star three more times. And then what we can do here is actually either hold down shift, left click, size this down, like so we can leave this one like that we could even bring this one down a little bit like so and we can leave that one the way it is now you guys could even actually turn this stuff around right like make it go to the left then we could even make this face go to the right we could even make this face go to the left so now that i'm done putting the face and putting the stars what i'm gonna do now is go over to layers I'm going to click on this bottom one, right, that shows the green. I'm going to hit the side arrow, okay? And if you look all the way on the bottom, okay, you're going to see this little eyeball, and it's going to have the actual template. So all I'm going to do is hit that eyeball to turn it off, okay? So then now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on this rectangle tool here, and I'm going to sit here, left click on the screen, and drag all the way across, okay? until it actually connects to the whole entire template and just drag it down like so. You wanna make sure it actually intersects, okay? Connects to the entire template. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is double click on this white box here, this fill, double click, and actually click on whatever color you know you want, okay? So for this example, I'm actually, yeah, let's go red. I'm comfortable with that. If there's a specific color you guys want, right? Whatever color you're looking for, type in hex code right after, and right here, you're gonna get a code, right? So this one is 6A0 dad. So what we're gonna do here is go over to Adobe Illustrator. We're gonna type in 6A0 DAD. And as you can see, it turned it purple, okay? Our design is basically covered up, right? You know, the face and the stars. So what I'm gonna wanna do, so right here, you wanna make sure that this actual purple is selected, right? And you're gonna want to right click and hit arrange and you're gonna want to hit send to back okay so once you do that bam it's gonna bring your design that you actually put on before that in the front okay so then now after you're done here what you're gonna want to do is literally export it okay so we're gonna go to export export as and you're gonna want to type in whatever design right so you could put for customer number one okay and you want to make sure you save it in a location where you can sit here and reference back to it right so we're just going to click downloads okay then you want to make sure you could hit use artboard it's really important guys okay so once you hit export it's going to actually give you like a preview of how it's going to look and i like the way it looks so right here i'm just going to hit okay done deal so the next step what you're going to want to do is go over to printful okay so once you're here in printful now we can click right here where it says drop your design here okay so once we click there you're gonna want to hit upload okay and then wherever you actually saved your files at I went downloads and I went to the customer one then here I go guys so now it's uploading and guys this is it this is how you do it okay then you hit select and look at that guys voila okay so right here you can see that the safe print area is basically inside these dotted lines, right? My design placed in the safe print area. The print quality shows good. So it's 300 DPI, guys, and that's essentially what you want, right? After you do that, guys, what you guys can do is go to Proceed Media, pick your actual mock-up, whichever mock-up you like. I'm just gonna leave it as that, okay? Then I'm gonna hit Proceed to Details. You wanna give your, uh, your socks a good product title, right? And a good product description. Okay, if you got some uh, tags, you want to place those tags there. Something like socks, all over print socks. Okay, if 
you have a collection add it to a collection guys and you want to proceed to pricing right so once we get to product pricing keep in mind guys you know how much is it going to cost to have that image converted to a cartoon it's roughly going to cost you around seven dollars okay because it's more like five bucks for the actual design but fiverr charges a fee of like two bucks okay so it's going to be like seven dollars to get a design totally converted right so when you're pricing it charging your customers just keep that in mind okay you gotta charge them right to get that thing converted so let's say you're okay with like five bucks profit okay so for like 22 bucks you guys can set it it's up to you guys okay then you hit submit to store so once you submit to store now we're just gonna wait for it to upload and so we could check out how our mock-up looks okay so after it's actually uploaded and finally done guys what you can do is hit this edit button and just scroll down right here to this arrow and you're gonna be brought up to your preview right so we're just gonna hit on preview and we're gonna hit on view full size okay and right here guys you could take a look right and that's pretty much how it's gonna look when it's all printed guys and shipped to your customer okay so that's essentially how you guys can do it it doesn't have to be with faces guys you guys can actually find some nice PNG designs right on Etsy you guys can get them for very cheap okay like a couple bucks right and you guys can do amazing socks okay and you guys don't have to sit here and go through Fiverr and pay for all that right you guys can literally pay like two bucks one time have a bunch of designs right from Etsy and go over on Etsy right you could type in something like t-shirt designs okay type in something like t-shirt designs and check it out okay for like a hundred thousand t-shirt designs for three bucks something to keep in mind right guys so you guys can see here edit the text you guys can open up these files right in Adobe Illustrator and you guys can see here type in whatever you want right and export that as a PNG make sure you actually export it with the artboard and guys you guys are good to go okay you guys can put that on socks you guys can follow the same process right for pretty much any print on demand product on printful that way you guys can see here add a little flavor to your printful store okay guys and that's pretty much all i have for you guys today for this tutorial i appreciate you guys stopping by my channel let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this process right let me know if you guys know of an easier way right to kind of do these designs and edit them in adobe illustrator or whatever software you guys use to edit your designs or create your designs let me know in the comment section below i'm curious to know my name is Melvin. I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. If you guys found value in this video, do me a quick solid. Smash that like button. Destroy that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.